Welcome to Kid Missing TV. I'm your host, Angelina Wilson, and we are talking about the Tucson, or Pima County, Jane Doe. She was found on the 25th of October, 1965, and has been unidentified, well, it says 58 years in the information that I got, it's actually 50, well, it will be 59 in October. Um, she was white, she was about five foot three, she was between 16 and 20 years of age. She was very young. She was a skeleton. She was, her post-mortem interval is five plus years. She was found in a desert area near Tucson with a, a 32 caliber revolver was found with her remains, which led investigators to suspect she may have taken her own life. Um, her lower jaw was underdeveloped on the right side, leading to her mouth being crooked when closed. This was most likely noticeable to those who knew her. And she had fillings. Silver ones. Um, she wore a metal ring, a man's shirt, the 32 Smith & Wesson firearm, I believe was hers, and the exclusions, the Ladies they've been able to exclude are Carol Batterman, Sharon Giusti, we talked about her, Mary Shotwell Little, we talked about her, Lynn Loray, I believe we talked about her, Pinky Redman, we talked about her, Maria Ruffling, Bertha Smith, Mary Ann Switalski, we talked about her, Diane Webb, and Grace Zoller. Um, you will see her picture. Her lower jaw must have been there because they knew one side was smaller than the other. She was found one mile north of the end of Campbell Road in Pima Canyon, to be exact. And if you have any information about her, let me just see what's on the last page. Nothing. Um, you can call the Pima County Medical Examiner's Office, Bruce Anderson, at 520-724-8600. That's 520-724-8600. 8600 or bruce.anderson at pima.gov or via their online form. You can also call the Pima County Sheriff's Department. There isn't a person, but um, it's 520-351-4600. 520-351-4600, and you can reference case number 37670. Since there is not a um, person specifically on her case and her and you can also call the National Center for Missing and Exploited Children Nick Mick at 1-800-THE-LOST that's 1-800-THE-LOST and their case number for her is 1-2-0-0-8-9-0 1-2-0-0-8-9-0 you know that's some of the saddest cases to me are unidentified suicides because you wonder, you know, they killed themselves and were left unidentified. Obviously, the thoughts that they had that nobody cared about them were unfortunately founded. You know what I mean? You'd like to think in most cases those thoughts are unfounded. They're due to the mental illness of depression, but sometimes they're true. Um, sadly, very sadly. I just, those are the, the cases that make me the most sad. Oof, don't mind me, I have a pulled muscle in my side. Yow! And, uh, so yeah, it's, it's not good. Um,
what was I going to say? So those ones are the ones I really would like to see get their names back to find out, you know, what the heck happened? In the Christmas tree lady's case, she was miles and miles and miles away from home, like many states. That's why she was unidentified. That could be the, the same in the, the case of the the lady in the hotel, the Seattle Jane Doe. Um, so, God bless you, have a wonderful rest of your day, and I will see you tomorrow on the other channel. And please subscribe to all three channels, guys. I want to get this channel to a thousand by New Year's. Now, I thought you had to be at 10,000 to be monetized, but Jeeva said it was a thousand the other day, which would be very exciting for us at this channel. Um, meaning you and me. I know that that allows you to go live, which is awesome. Which I would have done for things like the boy in the box, you know? Um, the Christmas tree lady, um, the Stanley Park brothers. Those really old, really exciting cases that I didn't want to wait until the next month's standard updates for. I could go live as soon as I hear about it, you know? And I, I, I'll have that option with your help soon. Then I can do other things with the channel. If I want to start a join the channel, you know, like a channel membership thing, I'll be able to do that then. which would go directly toward a VPN. I wouldn't ask for much. Like a dollar a month and you get you, you'll get videos early um, earlier than they go out on the channel and different things. I haven't figured out everything yet but I would like to do that. Like a dollar a month or something and if enough people do it there'll be enough for me to pay for a VPN straight out of that which I need for this channel they're just kind of expensive so God bless you have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you next time bye guys